Alright everybody, what's going on? It's Thundershot, and today I'm going to be doing a breakdown of last night's trailer that came out for Dragon Ball Xenoverse. It was the Jump Festa trailer. We got a lot of new information in this one. It's going to be really fun. So, unfortunately, I would like to be playing the trailer for you guys now, but uh, if you upload it to YouTube, Bandai Namco will, uh, they might not take it down, but they will claim it, and that's not, it's not good to have a, have a video claimed on your channel. So, um, in order to avoid that, I'm not going to have it. I'm actually trying to work. I'm trying to talk with the guys to see if they'll let me use it in the future because there are a couple videos I would like to do uh, that actually feature the trailer. So I don't know. I might be throwing up screenshots. I might be doing Xenoverse gameplay in the background. I don't know yet. But uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below to the actual trailer. You can click on it. You can watch it. All that fun stuff. Um, and then get up to speed. Like I said, I would like to be playing it for you right now, but I can't. So yeah, click on it, watch it, get up to speed, all that stuff. And then we are going to be breaking down uh, the trailer. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to push play and I'm going to talk a little bit through uh, as I see it. Maybe point out a couple things you guys might not have heard or something like that. I don't know for 100% even. Uh, but yeah, the main point of this is just it's, it's a brief summary. I'm about to leave and go on Christmas break for a week. But as soon as I get back, uh, we are going to do so many breakdowns of all the stuff on this trailer. And probably new trailers. So probably There will probably be new trailers out by then. So... Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So I'm pushing play right now. You can push play with me and mute it, maybe. I don't know. Do your thing. But we have the uh, teen rating. And the very first thing we see is that my volume is way too loud. This is annoying. But we actually get some cutscenes, and the cutscenes actually looks like they were recently drawn by Kai and that sort of thing. Um, I mean, you know, it's actually it's not like it's not like a typical Dragon Ball Z in-game uh, like gameplay cutscene. It's using real like animators. The animators who animate Dragon Ball Z got in to make this, so that's super cool that they got to do this with their cutscenes. But anyway, it seems like the main focus of what's going on here is uh, Mira, I believe Mira's the girl, created Toa. Hold on. Okay, we'll start from the beginning. Uh, Trunks is wishing you. Trunks is wishing for a strong ally from Shenron. You were legitimately a wish straight from Shenron. I don't know if you come from another universe and then Shenron wishes you there, or if you uh, just appear out of absolute, like you didn't even exist until Trunks wished for you. I have no idea what the case is, but... Uh, the main thing we're gonna be, the main recurring thing we're gonna be seeing here is that uh, villains actually can turn more evil than they already are, which didn't make any sense to me. It's uh, it's still a little confusing, but there is actually some good stuff that comes out of this. All right, so I'm checking this out. We're just getting past the intro stuff now. I'm sorry. Two great apes. That's the very first thing we see. We see Goku Kaioken. We see two great apes. Now there's speculation as to who the other great ape is, and it's got black armor. I am, uh, I am going to say it's safe to assume that that's Nappa. If it's not Nappa, my second guess is Raditz. But you're actually fighting two great apes, which is actually super cool if you ask me. Uh, an alternate timeline where Vegeta doesn't kill Nappa is actually pretty sick, or somehow Raditz lives. Maybe who knows. The next thing we see is we see Vegeta in the Ginyu Force. Now whether that's actually Vegeta joining the Ginyu Force, or I think Captain Ginyu rather switches bodies with Vegeta instead of Goku. And then Vegeta is the one you have to battle from the Ginyu Force. Or maybe Captain Ginyu beats up Goku like he did before, but he actually hits Vegeta with this body switch instead of uh, instead of the Toad getting thrown in front of him. Maybe he actually gets Vegeta's body, that scenario. So that's another thing that you're going to have to deal with in this game. Like, this is going to be so fun. This storyline is going to be so awesome. Next thing we th see is uh, Frieza getting disrupted. Um, and by the way that this looks... Uh, just by this scene I'm looking at here where Frieza is currently holding the character by the throat, throwing him, just killed Piccolo from the way that this looks to me is not only does the red eyes when they get possessed by Mira not only does that make them more evil uh, it also makes them more powerful and the reason I say this is because Goku in the next scene we see Goku go Super Saiyan and Goku as a Super Saiyan needs your help to beat Frieza as we know Goku could obviously beat Frieza on his own in the actual anime and manga but in the case of this Goku is actually asking for your help to defeat Frieza now at the end he says he has to finish it alone, but he does need your help to fight Frieza in Super Saiyan form. So maybe that kind of gives me the idea that these guys are, when they're upgraded, they get a little bit, um, they get a little bit stronger. We also see that Mira possibly created Toa as like a super warrior. Trunks points out that uh, Mira is able to harvest energy, but while she's harvesting energy, she's also controlling new people, so I don't know how exactly she's gaining it. If it's like a Majin Buu when bad stuff happens around you, you gain energy type thing, or if it's like a, uh, if it's like a, she just absorbs your energy directly, kind of like a cell if he was to stick his thing in you non-sexually, or the androids when they could absorb ki. The next thing I see is, it talks about how uh, they were able to turn Gohan evil. Trunks briefly mentions they were able to turn Gohan evil, which means uh, good people can be turned evil. That's big news. Also, you were fighting perfect form cell. Gohan goes Super Saiyan 2, then it cuts to a scene where Gohan's back in Super Saiyan 1. And to me, that makes me think that, that kind of like that energy absorbing thing, they were able to absorb Gohan's energy and take him out of Super Saiyan 2, and then they use that energy, so Gohan's only got Super Saiyan 1 strength. That's just an idea. Maybe it's just a different scene entirely, but you have to help them beat Cell. Uh, what was I on about earlier? I had another point I wanted to make. Um, 
Oh, or that could be another instance in the case of Gohan actually needs your help to defeat Cell, thus the red eyes obviously making them stronger. We also see Hercule getting turned evil. Um, and there is a brief scene, I don't know if it's gone by already or not for me, but there is a very brief scene where we actually see uh, Piccolo has red eyes. So Trunks mentions it. There's Beerus with red eyes at the end. If Beerus is even stronger, we're in a world of hurt, especially if Beerus is stronger and actually evil. That was the one thing is because Beerus wasn't actually like super evil. He had his fight. He left. If Beerus was super evil, it's going to be really hard to beat Beerus and destroy the world. I could see Beerus being a final boss of sorts. So the trailer's over for me right now, but there's one point that I didn't get to talk on as much as I wanted to uh, that I will touch up on here real quick. So um, what I saw with Piccolo, actually, we actually saw Piccolo have red eyes while he was training the kids to do fusion dance, it looked like. And then Trunks mentions how Gohan has been turned evil. Now that to me says go good guys can be turned evil. And unless it's Beerus, like I just said, unless Beerus is the final boss in this game, this is 100% not confirmed. Do not tell people Thundershot said this is what was going to happen, so it's going to happen. This is not confirmed. This is my speculation. I think it's possible that they turn Goku evil and evil Goku is the final boss battle. Once again, not confirmed. Don't take that for fact. This is a guess. This is a shot in the dark. Tell me if I'm right later. Who knows? But that's going to go and wrap it up for this little mini trailer breakdown, guys. Like I said, I'm going on Christmas break soon. Uh, but as soon as I get back, uh, it'll be about a week, as soon as I get back, I will have all my computer stuff fixed. I'll be able to record PlayStation 4 and PS3 gameplay for you guys again. And uh, there will be a bunch of DBZ trailer breakdowns, a bunch of stuff, because there's a lot that I only uh, skimmed over in this that I would like to break down a lot in the future. So I want to thank, thank all you guys for coming out today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, uh, leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around here. I do this Dragon Ball Z stuff all the time along with playing other various games. I am Thundershot, and I'm out. Peace, guys.